And 45 minutes are up. Here's your rice. Turn it off. And without burning yourself, which I'm doing right now, yow. You mix it. It's better with a fork because you're supposed to be fluffing it. So the water is pretty much all absorbed or evaporated. And because it's sticking to the bottom and I've made a mess of my stove, we want it covered while it's taking care of it. This is easy. I'm using olive oil. It's my favorite oil to use to cook. I've got all my mixing ingredients ready there. Here's my cauliflower, which I'll put in first. These guys you'll leave for last. Those guys you'll put somewhere between the bok choy, which is in that big bowl, and themselves. You can put them at the same time. Here's the sauce in this particular bowl, and the snap peas in that strainer. Now you'll want to add a little bit of sea salt, just because it's going to help draw out the water from the, uh, the, the certain vegetables. Are you ready? You'll need a spatula. Why a spatula? Well, because you can use it for this. It's the cost that I use it on. For the sake of time, I'm not going to do any modifications to the veggies. But if you did have to do anything, try not to use any leaves. But uh, make sure that your your vegetable pieces are small, medium size, so that you can actually cook them fast. I don't mind having mine a little bit um, crunchy, but some do. The whole point of the stir fry is to allow it to cook. Unfortunately, I've got way too many vegetables. And I'm cooking them all, so it's going to be a mess. But, I have some leftovers for tomorrow. And possibly the week.
And here comes the fun part. This is my mixture of all my ingredients that I did for the sauce. You give it a twirl and you dump it. And you'll have to hear the noise change. It'll go from thin bubbling to thick bubbling. Try to allow you to see a change in consistency. Watch the middle of it. Try to get this carefully. It started off as liquid and see how it's turning to a gel. This is the beauty of cornstarch or arrowroot flour. It thickens sauces the same way as okra does. For those that want to use okra, you might want to consider using it for this, but I haven't experimented enough with it to tell you how good it is. Once it started thickening, start tossing your vegetables so that you can coat them all in this wonderful delicious sauce. And that's the whole point. You want all your vegetables to be covered in sauce, not drown. Okay, there's a difference between covering to enhance the taste and the texture, the flavor, and covering your food to the point that it's literally stuck underneath a blanket of sauce. Well, this, I'll let it boiling a bit. While it's doing that, I'm going to prep myself a gassiette, uh, as we say in French. To prep a plate, uh, first I need the rice. Ah, ah, ah. Just, whoop, just a little bit of rice. probably a little bit overcooked but it'll do the trick quite nicely for tonight I the, I just learned with you folk that we shouldn't be putting it for 45 minutes in the oven at 280 actually 20 minutes would have been sufficient enough if I would have kept my eyes on it but I was busy doing this and other things well and I'm not good at you following what I practice what I preach I don't have bad yet Bad in it. A generous helping of veggies and looks like a side of eggs for all I care. So here we go folks. Two patties with uh, on top of the vegetables, the uh, sweet and spicy vegetables, and a served on rice. Let's see how this tastes, okay? It's still hot, so I'm going to try not to burn my mouth. Hmm. 
There's a party in my mouth and you're all invited to come. <laughs> this is delicious. I hope that you'll enjoy it as much as I did and I hope that you invite friends to come over to help you cook it because uh, doing it alone isn't this fun. And doing it entertaining friends is actually funner. That's not actually a word, but go along with it, folks. Make, make this man think that he's achieving something in life. So, from me and all you cooks out there, uh, well, at least for me, never mind the other cooks. And I don't think Gordon Ramsay would say congratulations on trying this, but try this and let me know what you think. Uh, leave video comments, commentaries down below. And remember, have fun, cook nutritiously, think about your health, and think about the, uh, the happiness that you bring to others at the same time as you bring it to yourself. So, nothing more to say here except success in the experiment. A little bit overcooked for the meat, a little bit dry, but that's okay. We'll make do. With that said, have a nice one.